Hello everybody, it's Maniac 4 Games. As I mentioned before, there is going to be a new video on this channel about the Wii U. In the advent of the Nintendo Switch about a year and a half ago, and so many good games that have been coming out and still waiting in the wings, it seems like most people have pretty much moved on from the era that was the Wii U. It wasn't brightest for a lot of video game fans and Nintendo fans especially, but it is something that has now been put aside. Some things have been translated over from the Wii U to the Switch. And I kind of wonder for myself, is it time for me to do the same? Me to trade in the Wii U and the titles I have for it currently, and then purchase the Switch with that trade value and some games for it. Right now, I have like just under enough to get the Switch on its own. And that's before getting any games. Now, I'm not saying I want to get the entire library of Switch games, but there are a handful that I do want to get that would be a better value or better quality than what I already have on the Wii U. And granted, the ones I have on the Wii U, I haven't fully experienced, I haven't fully committed time to them, but I also didn't have a lot of interest for them, like maybe at first I did, but it's kind of hard for me to get into them as time goes on. And some of them actually have transferred over to the Switch, so it might be easier for me to get into those games while also experiencing newer, better ones. So, enjoy the rest of the video where I discuss my back and forth thoughts on the subject, and let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. I could potentially just save up more money and get the Switch and games and still keep the Wii U, but I wanted to see if you guys had any thoughts either way about it. I feel like there's only so much that the Wii U is still holding on to for me in my collection. But here we are, let's take a look at the video. For the past year, maybe year and a half at this point, I've actually had a big conundrum when it comes to the Wii U, and that is the advent of the Nintendo Switch. It is a phenomenal console. I have played it over friends' and family's houses before, and I am starting to get used to the Joy-Cons and everything. But how do I get one myself? And do I use the Wii U to get that? One option that I have is to save up enough money to buy the Switch on its own and still keep my collection of Wii U stuff and maybe expand upon it in the future. That sounds good and all. But currently, that's a lot to put out for the Switch and I haven't even factored in the games. I don't know if any of them are pre-owned up to this point if that'll help with like chowing down a little bit on the cost per game. I don't think they're any cheaper if I buy them digitally, like download them to the Switch compared to buying a physical cartridge for them. Um, and so far, there isn't a big library of games for the Switch that I want to get, but some of them actually do overlap with the Wii U. So there's Sonic Mania, there's eventually Smash Ultimate, there's Super Mario Odyssey, and there's Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Probably I would get Splatoon 2, depends on how much I like more of the campaign on Splatoon 1 and more multiplayer with it. There is LEGO City Undercover, which as you see here, is also on the Wii U. I don't think they have Super Mario 3D World or Super Mario Maker on the, uh, on the Switch, and I don't expect them to move this over to the Switch either. Shovel Knight, I could probably put off to the side if I wanted to, if I didn't think there was actually um, going to be a, an ability to play multiplayer with it. And I could still play it on the PC, but just get a controller for it. Um, or, I think there is a Switch version of it, like Treasure Trove, I believe, so it has some of the features built in already. So, there's that. Lego Batman 3, I could still get that on another console. I don't know if it would be in the Switch already, but I could still get it for the 360. And there's probably more coming down the road, and probably more that are already available that I can't recall off the top of my head. I'm not sure about ARMS. Yoshi's Whirly World does interest me, but I think that's on... That's on the Wii U? I... I forget. There was, there was one or two Kirby games, I think, on the Wii U, too. I might have missed them from, from my collection on this list. But anywho, there's a lot of overlap, and, you know, they kind of did that with uh, a couple games right out the gate. I mean, Breath of the Wild was available on the Wii U and Switch at launch of the Switch. And then later on, some of these other games had Switch 
adaptations from their Wii U counterpart. So it's kind of like, okay, you can abandon your old console and trade towards the new one. And I kind of feel like I'm in the same boat. Like, do I, do I do that? I don't know. Now, one thing that I got the Wii U for was the ability to play exclusive titles on there, but still play the Wii titles that I've had previously. I will touch upon the Wii collection at a later time, and also the Xbox 360 collection, and also a little conundrum that I have between those two, but um, just, say, just saying for now, it's a big collection of Wii games that I have, whether or not they're shovelware. Now, it's great and all to have that ability to play the Wii games on the Wii U. I love backwards compatibility on any system, but here's kind of a problem. At some later point than getting the Wii U, I actually did pick up a used Wii console for a reasonable price, and I could still play my Wii games through there. Yes, it could be just a secondary option. I do have it every, off, every so often I use it for homebrewing as well as playing Wii games, but for now, is it going to help as much? I mean, I'm not as dependent on the Wii U to play Wii games the way I am on the original Wii. So, I don't know. I also kind of worry about the storage between the two, of the Wii and the Wii U, and I know the Switch is better than both of those combined, but I'm not sure if it's still worth it for the Wii U. I have previously played Disney Infinity 1.0 and LEGO Dimensions on the Wii U. I didn't mention them in my collected in my collection part in the video because they were ones I returned. I already had copies of them for the Xbox 360, but I wanted to see if anything was different with them graphically, uh, technologically, you know, if there are any functions that were different. They were virtually the same, but um, they ate up a lot of space on the system, even though they were like maybe like 10 gigs for the Disney Infinity which is like a third of this console, and considering all the other games I'll play with it, I don't know. Um, with all the Wii games that I would want to play, I don't know how much of that file storage is going to be eaten up by their save data, and how much of that would be still available for the Wii U titles that I have here, and ones I'd like to expand upon. So, I feel like if I give it a little bit more time, I could still keep the Wii U around. And then get the Switch later, and then get the games going with the Switch. Maybe I could translate a few of them over. But I can't really see myself right now of trading everything for the Wii U uh, library into the Switch. There's mainly one or two titles that are holding me back from that. That's Super Mario 3D World, because I've heard a lot of good things about it as a Mario game. There's Super Smash Bros. for the Wii U, because I don't know if they're going to put it onto the Switch, even with Ultimate coming up. And then there's Super Mario Maker, my favorite of Wii games, or Wii U games. There's also Mini Mario and Amiibo Challenge or whatever, but that's okay as long as I complete it. And I will try to get footage of that whole gameplay, so I feel happy with completing that game. But Super Mario Maker is what got me into the Wii U to start with. And it's one of the games that I probably come back to the most out of the Wii U uh, library. So it means a lot for me that I keep the system around so I can play that game. I know it has been translated over to the Nintendo 3DS, and I'm kind of hoping with that in mind, they may be translated over to the Switch at a later point. I haven't heard anything about it currently, so I don't know for sure. When I hear that news, maybe I will be more inclined to give up the Wii U. But it also feels kind of weird because... I've only had like one or two gaps in the Nintendo console library that I've actually skipped over or barely played a certain console. I mean, with the Wii, I had the original Wii. I traded it at some point later to get the black Wii Motion Plus Wii because uh, there was a disc reading error that I had with the original one and like the launch original one I'm talking about. That black Wii turned into this Wii U, and I haven't played anything before the NES, like, I don't have a, a Famicom or anything like that. I did get a Super Nintendo more recently, but I'm still trying to figure out how to build up a collection with those games. 
But it feels weird to have like a gap in between there. Nintendo has been so involved with my gaming experience, allowing me to explore many different titles. And not that I haven't explored them outside of this with the PlayStation 2 or the Xbox 360 that I have, but a lot of them work well on the same consoles I've grown up with for so long. And I kind of, in a way, I feel some Nintendo fanboy, you know, loyalty to Nintendo, um, which is why I lean towards those more easily than an Xbox or a PlayStation. But I still kind of like what they offer and, you know, the types of, you know, IPs that are available through there that I haven't adapted from other uh, resources. So let me know what you think in the comments down below if I just overthinking this or if there is a more reasonable solution that I'm coming up with.